Hey guys, Joe here at JP Details for the third successful training day which involved this 2010 Ford Focus RS and owner Martin Peters. Before I talk about Martin's training day, I would like to announce the first group session which is going to be held on Sunday the 14th of April at the JP Details Detailing Studio in Stafford, Staffordshire, UK. I'll be uploading a specific video for the first ever group session within the next couple of weeks. So if you are interested, then keep your eye out for the upload as it will contain all of the information that you'll need to know. Just an idea, if you are able and definitely want to be one of the very few attendees for the first ever group session on Sunday the 14th of April, then you could even drop me an email on joe at jpdetails.co.uk to secure your place. Call it an early bird for those viewing this video. The group session will cost £40 each and run from 9am till 6.30pm and it will be a group session of 5 candidates. More information to follow which will be in the specific announcement video which will be uploaded in a couple of weeks time. Martin Peters, the owner of the Mark II Focus RS, is a keen performance car enthusiast who booked a day's training with myself to learn all of the basics of detailing. This would then give him the knowledge and confidence to be able to perform a minor pain correction detail on his own pride and joy. From what I gathered, Martin's experience with detailing is quite limited, although he is already confident with the basics of a safe car wash, hand polishing and waxing. But when it came to the decontamination stages, machine polishing and ceramic coatings, these were certainly new areas that he wanted to explore. So, the day started with the pair of us completing a safe exterior wash on the RS whilst discussing the correct methods and techniques and also my own chosen products and why. This included how to decontaminate the wheels and the best method for cleaning the arches and tyres. When the washing was complete, we moved on to the bodywork decontamination stages which included the tar deposit removal stage, the iron fallout removal stage and also the clay bar stage. Each step was explained in great detail and with tuition from myself, I taught Martin how to correctly decontaminate his wonderful Focus RS. Martin was also very keen to learn how to correctly clean the engine bay, so we went over the process in great detail whilst conducting an engine bay detail on his RS. After the decontamination stages were complete, the RS was brought inside the unit and dried using soft mag fiber drying towels in the Air Force Master Blaster. Martin had never used a machine polisher before and was very keen to learn. We began with measuring the depth of the paintwork across each panel to ensure that the car has factory OEM paint, whilst also discussing a few of the other telltale signs of body shop repairs. 
I decided to introduce Martin to machine polishing via a refining stage. So I selected a white Rupes finishing pad and a white Rupes finishing polish to get him familiar with the feel of the Rupes LHR15 machine. And for a complete newbie, Martin took to the machine very well. Martin's RS is in definite need of a two-stage machine polish due to an array of defects that are present which has to be expected with an 8 year old vehicle that hasn't been machine polished in a while. So we decided to up the cutting ante to a microfiber cutting disc and Rupes compound to see how many defects Martin could remove. I demonstrated the process on a taped off air on the bonnet and then guided Martin through compounding his very own taped off section. After the first sections were complete, we wiped the panels down with IPA and checked the true level of correction, and to Martin's delight, and mine, he had done extremely well. Martin was incredibly impressed with the capabilities of a machine polisher, and I was also incredibly impressed with how quickly he took to the machine. We refined the areas of the paintwork that had been given the cutting stage, and also tried out machine polishing a few other panels. We finished the day with guided tuition about using the smaller Rupes mini Bigfoot machine, we dressed the engine bay, polished the exhaust tips using wire wool, wet sanded a small area on the front bumper to vastly improve the appearance of a troublesome defect, we dressed the tyres, cleaned the door shuts and sills, and then finished the day with applying Cheap Technic XO V4 to the bonnet and Swiss back shield for the roof. The rest of the RS needs a two-stage machine polish and ceramic coating application and with the day's training from myself, Martin is now confident and filled with the correct knowledge to undertake the work himself. I've got to say I'm really enjoying the training day so far, as it makes a nice change from me doing all of the work, but instead having a helping hand whilst also spending the time teaching others, which have so far all been YouTube subscribers. It gives me the chance to meet you, and it also gives you the chance to meet me. Feel free to get in touch via the JP Details website where there happens to be a page specific to training days on there which is filled with all of the information that you'll need to know. In regards to the first group session being held on the 14th of April, which is a Sunday, then keep an eye out for the video announcement within a couple of weeks time. As always, thank you for watching. Please drop the video a like and subscribe to the channel if you are not already. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Social media links are in the description box below. I'll hopefully catch you in the next one.